have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And we find that so faithful who will or us or share. Jesus knows every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. But with the Lord of care, precious Savior, still a refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friend despise forsake thee? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms, shield. Should be the we the story is there. Amen. Let us take our seats, please, kindly. <clears throat> Good afternoon, and the Buana Sifiwe. Amen. Amen. My name is Elijah Gogi Kireka. I love Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. He has continued shepherding me. I've been working with him for quite some years, and I'm delighted, and I'm still pursuing so that I may get to my destination. He's a good God. I'm happy because of this gift of salvation. Uh, I am from Milimani South Presbytery, that is where I minister in a parish called Iriruta. And uh, I want to take this opportunity also to pass my condolences and the condolences of the Milimani South Presbytery to this wonderful family of Susan Mudoni during this time when they are mourning their dear mom, a matriarch, a great woman a woman of character, a great loss, not only to the family, but also to our church, that we are together in prayers as a church and as a presbytery. I also want to pass the condolences of our national leaders, the church leaders, moderator, right Reverend Dego Mutahi. He is not with us. He could not make it because he had other engagements. So he had to send us as a presbytery to come and represent him together with the Secretary General and also our Deputy Secretary General. So family kindly receive uh, those condolences. I was also sent with another assignment by our moderator that because he knew uh, our national leaders would be with us, His Excellency, Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagua, and also our Prime Cabinet Secretary, uh, <coughs> uh, Mr. Mudavadi, Honorable, uh, and all other dignitaries, especially our count leaders. I have seen them here, Governor and uh, MP. I was also sent also 
I receive you on behalf of the National Church. Kwa hivyo tumewakaribisha sana and we feel honored even to have you come and mourn together with us. Amen. So, Deputy President, when you meet your friend, uh, Re Right Reverend Dego Motahi, I have delivered that, I have received you. Najua huyo ni mkubo wangu, nisipofanya hivi, naeza kuambiwa sasa wewe songa. Kwa hivyo, make sure usembe hivyo. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in Jesus' name, during this moment of mourning, our dear mom, our father, we are not hopeless. The family is not hopeless. God Almighty, we are praying because your word is life. Your word gives life. Eternal Holy Father, speak to these dear families. Speak to us, even all of us here, dear Lord. God Almighty, as you cancel your people, God Almighty, I also want of them to be canceled, to be given hope. A humble prayer of faith, in Jesus' name we pray and I believe. Amen, amen. amen. Nilipo kuwa nikiangalia uh, hii yolojia na tributes kutoka kwa familia, unaweza kujua huyu mama ambaya tunampumzisha siku ya leo, utajua ni mama wa aina gani. Na nimefanya tu summary kulingana na hiyo yoloji. Na imeandikuwa vizuri sana. She was a woman of character. Bwana sifiwe? A woman of character. Something also emerged there, a woman of integrity. And she has left a legacy. And I'm going to speak about a person of character. A person of integrity. What legacy shall you leave? What legacy shall I leave when that time comes for me to exit this earth? Watu watasema namna gani. Ninini nitaachia familia. Ninini nitaachia mafa, ma, 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 marafiki. Hata hii Kenya yetu ninini nitaacha. Ni vizuri tujiulize hivi. Hivyo. So that in whatever capacity we are. Where we are working and where we are serving. We need to serve with integrity. We should be people of good character. And no wonder that's why members of the Women's Guild from Nairobi West. When they received her in 2019, they walked in, in, with her. Even during old age, they walked with her and she was an active member to the end. So, a person of integrity. And we are going to get our reflection from the book of Job, chapter 1. And you can also summarize the biography of Job with only that word. One word, he was a man of character. He was a man of integrity. And he left a legacy. He left a legacy not only to his family, to his country, and also to the entire Christian church. That's why we read the book of Job. This is a testimony of God. Chapter 2, it's a testimony of God. God was asking, God asked, when angels were taking reports, and inclusive of those angels, Satan was also there. And he was asked by God, where are you coming from, Satan? And then Satan said, oh, I was. Kwa uko duniani tu nikizungu kahapa na pale. Mungu kamuliza, umemuona mtumishi wangu, a blameless person. A man of character, a man of integrity, an upright person by the name Job. God was very specific. It was not a general question. He had a testimony about Job because he was a man of character. So this is a guy who was vetted by God and he was found to be fit. This is a man who met chapter 6 of the Constitution. A man of integrity. A man of character. That does not mean when you are a man of character, you are a man of integrity, you are an upright person. That does not mean you only receive good things. You also have a share of problems. Hata kama ayubu alikuwa mtu mzuri hivyo, kuna mambo alipitia. 
mazito na kuna swali limeshaulizwa mara nyingi sana why do bad things happen to good people and people theologians have been unable to answer sociologists cannot even philosophers they are unable to explain why good people have to go through bad things and especially this man who was blameless who was upright a man of integrity mambo ikamkuta tu asubuhi moja tu akaamka akiwa tajiri akiwa na pesa akiwa na kila kitu ngombe na nini lakini jioni ikifika ujumbe ukafika kila kitu kimemalizika na kabla siku iishe ujumbe mwingine ukakuja akaambiwa ya kwamba watoto wako walikuwa mahali waki, wakijivijari wakiwa na furaha na wote wamekufa you know things zinafuatana even for a blameless person an upright person somebody ambaye huwezi ku ni mwodo tageshu kerodo bwana wetu asifiwe sana and then chapter 2 hapo not only property not only he lost his property now he has lost his family now the next thing the next assignment from this guy called satan was to go and destroy the health of this man it was terrible akagonjeka akaumia you know hata angekaa kwa nyumba akapelekwa mahali nje au akikaa hapo bad things happening to good people it is until alipopoteza maisha not maisha properties health family when things were so bad and very dark this guy was told just cast god and die and die he mashida ikuishie that is the time job stood up and he said you cannot only receive good things from god only even when bad things they come the the, the word say the the, 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 the testimony from Job is this man he never sinned against God with his mouth. Yeye hakutenda dhambi, hakulalamika, hakumtukana, hakumlaani Mungu. That is how men and the women of character, they are men who are resilient. People who persevere to the end. Our matriarch, our great mom, she has also fought a great battle tumesikia hapo kwa kwa, kwa yology amechikwa na ugonjwa na amekuwa mama wa kanisa mama wa women's guild na akasukumana na ugonjwa hata kwa, hata katika hiyo hali nzito she never sinned against god let us be men and women of character amen because men and the women of character are rare in fact they are an endangered species very few very few ni wachache sana i wish sense asifanywe na tuwe na men of character men and women of character wawe wengi katika hii dunia hata viongozi wetu hamtakulwa kichwa mambo itakuwa rahisi sana hatutakuwa na askari wengi sana wa kutulinda hapa it is because we don't have men of character men and women of character si wengi na ningependa I want to borrow from Greek philosophy kwa sababu kuna watu aina tatu three categories of people here and in the world the first category of people philosophia hao wa Greek wanawaita citizen they are called citizen they are people like job men and women of character watu wazuri wanatenda mema na wanamcha Mungu na hata hawezi kumtendea jirani yake vibaya they are called citizens hao ni watu ambao wanajua sheria na wanatekeleza sheria watu wazuri hawasumbui kanisa hawasumbui serikali hawasumbuani hata kwa familia and i have said these people are few but you could be one of them bwana asifiwe sana you can also be one of them those people citizen 
Mene, na si citizenship ship ya kuwa wea ni kitambulisho na wea ni mukenya Unaweza kuwa mukenya na ni wahapa na unajita citizen Lakini huko na hiyo citizenship spirit Citizenship attitude Kuna watu wengine hapa Na hawa he, inakuwa shida sana Ni, 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 ni hawa filosofia wa Greek ndi walisema The other category of people wana, ni, ni Self-centered people Wa Greek walikuwa wanawaita tribalist, self-centered. Ni yeye tu, anafikiria mambo yake tu, na hafikiri mtu mwingine. Na ukikanyanga laini yake, ha sasa itakuwa shida. Hawa. Na ni watu ambao wanajipenda sana. They are me, I, me, and myself. Akiwa na zawadi ya kupeana, anapea I. Akiwa na kitu ya kupeana, anapea me. Akitaka kuweka party. You, if he wants to throw a party to friends, it is for myself. Uyo ni mtu ambaye, du, mzunguko wake tu, ni, ni yeye tu. Tuko pamoja watu wa mungu. Na hao ni hatu hatari sana. Hawa. Hao. Hata ukimukuta ye ni mufuasi wa aseno. Akiona wa maniu, ata mutandika. Na hata gemu ikichezwa, Ashindwe na mani yu, wata, watapigana. Akishinda, watapigana. Because they are called tribalists. Self-centered people. Hawa siyo kama job. Hawa siyo kama Susan Mothoni. Ni mtu ambaye. Na nimesikia hata hadithi ya Susan Mothoni. She touched many lives when she was a teacher. Bwana asifiwa sana. She touched many lives. Please. Jaribu sana. Uwezi kukaa hapa, unaweza kuhama. Na uingie kuwa a citizen. Men and women of character. The other category, it is the worst category. He. Hawa. Wana giriki, wana, kuna jina wana waita. Hapa kwetu tuna, tuna translative ingine. Awa kwa kizungu. The Greeks, they call them idiots. In the English language, idiots tunajua ni mutu ambaya kwa nashida ya yaki yakili. Sindio? Lakini the Greek, an idiot... Is a lawless person. Mutu wambaya najua sheria, lakini hafuati nini? Sheria. sheria. Ni mutu wambaya, ni, ni, ni wali tumeambua hapa, tu, ati tujichunge tu. Wewe ukai hapo, lakini uchunga malia. Kwa sababu ya kiona kitu chako, anataka kuchuku. Those are the idiots. Lawless people. Terrible people. Hawa ndiyo unaona hata kiingia kwa mata in the traffic light. Na anakuta in, ni red. Ya rizote sisima? Sisimame. Ya ya naangalia upande huu na anangalia kama anaona askari. Kama hakuna askari na imiandikuwa red. Psh. Ya ya natoka na anaenda. Na kuna moja ametipita tu. Pale dagoretikona tu. Tukaenda tukasimama situ hapo. You know. Mungine haka ingia tu. Haka pita. Nika uliza my, my, my colleague. Nika muliza. Sasa huyo hamefanya na mna gani. You know. Lakini nika kumbuka. Oh. That one is an idiot. Kwa sababu anajua na sitaini kusimama. Lakini hasima, hasimami, ye yeah, ni kuenda tu, ni kuenda tu, lawless people, people of impunity. Acha wakati kama huu kumekuwa na mambo ya maandamano, unakuta idioti wako huko ndani, wao kazi yao ni kupora mari, na kuchoma barabara, na kuchoma maduka ya watu, na kuchoma ata piki piki, kao ni hatari sana. Buwana sifiwe sana. We need to be citizens. We need to be men and women of character. Hallelujah. Na how and your majority. Hata hii serikali imepambana sana. Wanarigadhi umekuwa kipambana sana mambo ya pombe. Pombe haramu. Ambaye metukalia hapa kwa mulima. Kana tigu wai. Kizete ya kore tuwa ekuwa vio. Nariwa aduni marone kama thera thera agete. Wanarigadhi ya uthere ya wanaru. Diko thera thera agule. Ona tovidi ne tuwe gare. Kana tigu wai. Obare ya waruwaru wangi ita hawa wangi ita kaa johi ya kemena guwa. Etu hamwe. Because even these guys who do brewing and selling, they are in the category of idiots. Anajua vizuri sana hii kitu ni ya kuwa. Lakini hajali, anauzia, nendeni mkufe. That's why we had many, many walking zubis. Young men and women and middle-aged men, they are just walking zubis. Kwa sababu ya idiots. Ambao kazi yao, business yao inaitua merchant of death. 
if we could have be having citizens hii dunia tutaingia fast world very very fast bwana asifiwe sana we can have many many citizens and very few idiots we can go far men and women of character like susan modoni people who can touch lives ambaye hata mungu anatoa ushuhuda na anamwambia shetani job is an upright person Job is a blameless person. Job is a man of integrity. Have you seen him? I wish people can say that to me or even to you. It is possible. These categories are not casted on stones. You can move. Bwana asifiwe. Somebody can move from category 3 and go to category 2. Kama hutaweza kwenda straight away to citizen. Ningependa uende straight away to to citizen lakini najua inaweza kuwa ngumu. Tuko pamoja watu wa Mungu. So her life it has really impacted me even posthumously that the legacy she has left. The life or job have inspired me for many years. I pray let it be the same with you. In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord our Father we want to thank you because of your goodness. May you help each one of us even as we celebrate the life of our dear mom a woman of character a woman of integrity. God help us even as Kenyans even as believers to be men and women of character people who are not who are not blameless who are, who are blameless people who are upright help us dear lord in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen and amen thank you very much our moderator for that very powerful message let us all desire to become citizens in this world and also in heaven praise be to god it is only by knowing jesus christ as your lord and your savior that you live as a citizen here and also a citizen in heaven i want to welcome the family for the prayer so that we commit